Welcome back students to our course on learning JES with QJS. QJS is a professional JES application that is built on top of and proud to be itself free and open source software. It is currently one of the most popular JES software that could be literally used by anyone interested. The topic of today's lecture is on QJS and its structure and main interface features. Let's get started. QGIS is undoubtedly number one free GIS software package. QGIS is a jam packed with hidden gems at your fingertips. For example, you can automate map production, process geospatial data, and generate very beautiful cartographic figures. There is no other free mapping software on this list that lets you map like a rock star than QGIS. The favorite thing about QGIS is QGIS plugins. QGIS plugins put this mapping software into a state of epicness. If the tool doesn't exist, search for plugin, you should search for a plugin developed by a QGIS community. Volunteer effort is a key to success of QGIS. The QGIS Stack Exchange support is impressively great. QGIS 3 brings a whole new set of cartography, 3D and analysis tools. Downside of QGIS that is worthwhile mentioning. Frequent software updates result in bugs and changing layout of the program that sometimes make it difficult to work it. QGIS is a user-friendly open source geographic information system licensed under the GNU General Public License. QGIS is an official project of the Open Source Geospatial Foundation, OSGO. Its latest long-term release in 2020 is QGIS 3.10, the version that I'm going to work with you. But this version is updated quite regularly, and probably by the time you are watching this video, a new version of QGIS is already available or on its way. QGIS is runs on Linux, Unix, Mac, uh, and Android, and supports numerous vector, raster, and database formats and functionalities. QGIS is, um, is the structural features of QGIS includes QGIS desktop, which create, edit, visualize, analyze, and publish your special information, which is available for major computer systems, operational systems. It has also QGIS browser, QGIS server, QGIS web client, and QGIS Android. So you can also run QGIS on your smartphone. In this video lectures, we are going to uh, concentrate though on QGIS desktop, QGIS browser, so that you will be familiar how to do JS uh, analysis in QGIS on your desktop. QGIS desktop surface have the, the, the main elements namely number one that you can see here is a layer list or browser panel number two are toolbars number three is a map canvas number four is a status bar and five is side toolbars we are going to look through this in details in our following videos but these major elements are very important to have in mind as i'm going to mention them throughout the videos well, and finally, let me give you some tips on literature and resources. Even several years ago, there were no books published on QGIS. As you can see from this slide, the situation has dramatically changed since then. So currently, there are different interesting uh, literature available on the subject, um, basically in commercial domain. So some of the books that I can uh, offer you and suggest for you are listed on the slide. So getting started with QGIS, not bad. Learning QGIS, Mastering QGIS. This is, two, is a series of books, a bundle of books, which um, offer you to learn GIS, QGIS uh, from the beginning to, uh, apply it, uh, to apply it in the advanced applications. Well, over here, another version of the same book, but just uh, uh, in one, QGIS becoming a GIS power user. 
Beside of the book, there are also some interesting and useful uh, web resources that you may want to, inter to investigate in the future. So first of all, there is um, the website of QGIS that I'm going to show you in the upcoming lectures that, of course, uh, are going to be one of your uh, main sources of information on QGIS. There is also a nice site which is called From GIS to Remote Sensing, which is specialized on semi-automatic classification uh, plugin. I also encourage you to look at the help of QGIS because there are different QGIS tutorials and tips that for sure you will find very helpful. And in general, it's a good practice every time if you have any uh, problems or question to the software, whether it is QGIS or ArcGIS, it's always very helpful to first look at the tutorials and tips and the help uh, section of the software and others. So you have also links uh, on this slide. So you can also, I encourage you to also investigate those resources outside of this course.